I'm Brother Ben. Welcome to Tone Church. I'm Brother Jordan. Today, we're out here at Jordan, Jordan's grandpa's house. We're at his shed, and we're going to look at an old truck that he has. We really like trucks, too, along with guitars, so we hope you all enjoy this one. Yep. Let's go right here and check it out. I'm real dusty. Very dusty. I'm not sure how long he's been sitting here, but yeah, it's a 71 Chevy, and uh, I don't remember exactly what's, what it's got in it, so uh, let's check under the hood. I guess I'll open it. Yes. Dude, a tortilla chip. Wow. Wow. What, what was, what's that under the tortilla chip? Dude, a guitar. Holy mess. Wow. Dude, it's a Gibson. Dude, what do you think's in it? I don't know, let's look. I think most uh, Chevrolets from this era did come stock with uh, a guitar, a Gibson, a Gibson, yes. American made. American uh, yeah, made. yeah. All let's, right. see what, let's see what this one came with. Let's see what it is, folks. What? A 2019 Les Paul Jr. Let's go check it out. All right, we're here in the jam room. So we had the Jr. Got her all tuned up. We got her running through my blues junior. So we got the junior running through the junior. And uh, we're going to give you a little tone testing with it. So I guess there's not much more to say. Uh, got this guitar. Um, went to see Lucas Nelson. Killer guitar. So not many people know about him. Uh, and he plays a 1956, I do believe, uh, Les Paul Jr. I went to see him in Nashville. On the way back, uh, the show changed me so much, I had to stop and get this new line of guitars. So, so anyway. we're letting them know it didn't actually come from under the hood of the 71 Chevy yeah, that picked it, up the truck. it didn't. It came from Guitar Center. Sorry that was misleading. But anyways, so without ado, here's some uh, tone tests for you. People say that it's about the player and not the gear, and that's true. But since Ben has had this guitar, it's changed me. And, and when he holds this guitar, he plays so much better. It's unreal. It's like, unreal. This guitar has actually changed me. It's unreal. And it's weird because I can play with any other guitar, and like, like I played. Uh, we had this guitar during the last video we did, and I was playing the telly awful playing but for some reason playing this guitar like i don't know this is man, this guitar was just, made for you it was i connect with born, this guitar you were born to, to be and a junior guy. one of lucas nelson's songs is uh forget about georgia so i uh had to name this one georgia after him so anyways let's hear it <laughs> Oh, 
P90 in it is guitar. awesome. That P90 is awesome. The the way the neck feels too is really I was good. just about to talk about because it's a chunky, chunky neck. Oh yeah, and it is perfect. It's really awesome. Chunky. The tuners are awesome. I honestly do not have one complaint with this guitar. Like it is the perfect for me at least. It is the perfect guitar and. Gibson really did good with this new line, and I know they're going under a lot of heat right now because of some stuff, some stupid stuff that I know people are sick of everyone talking about, but anyways, they're, they really did good with this new line, this is a good and guitar. Th this guitar is the best guitar I've ever played, and it smells like vanilla, which is probably the sweetest part. And the paint job on it is awesome. That's, that smell from my Gibson is long gone. Oh, yeah. But this one, it's, it's still sticking fresh. around, ain't it? It's still fresh. Oh, yeah. You must not smell as bad as I do. <laughs> Good point. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Tone Church. And uh, till next time, I'm Brother Ben. I'm Brother Jordan. Peace. See you next week.